Hi, this is Steve Ray. We're here talking with Bill Earl. Bill is the uh, ex uh, president or executive director? President uh, of NABI, National Association of Beverage Importers. And Bill, tell us a little about what NABI's all about. Uh, NABI's a trade association that uh, was started more than 80 years ago, right after Prohibition. It's, uh, its premise is that we represent everything imports for the beverage alcohol industry, beer, wine, and spirits. So we're not segmented along one product line. Uh, I guess our, our major claim to fame is we, we try to smooth the, the, the waters for our import members to make it into the U.S. market and to stay profitable. Uh, most of our members are big companies, but I get a lot of calls all the time, probably two or three times a week, uh, with uh, new suppliers and producers looking to get into the market. So uh, part of the reason I came today was to uh, look at this show and see how this is playing into that solution. Uh, what I to build on what Bill was sell, was saying that when uh, export wineries do a Google search, oftentimes Nobby comes up first, and Bill is very often the first person they talk to about the U.S. market. And what Bill explained to them, and I'll let him do it in a second, is the importance of education and understanding the intricacies of the U.S. market. If not the intricacies themselves, understanding how to navigate through them and find resources to help. Yeah, you're right, Steve. Be you know, one of the one of the things I usually go over with uh, people who are looking for the U.S. as a market, uh, they come with high expectations. They really think this is going to be uh, the be-all and end-all of their business. You know, they're going to make it here. Uh, the reality is, I try to tell them, learn about the market, uh, test the waters, but in the end, you may decide that uh, you're better staying closer to home than coming here because of all of the hurdles that you have to jump through. Um, so we're very free with information. I get a call, somebody will, will say, how do I go about this? I point them to all the resources that are available. There's lots of free resources, particularly on the qualification side. But uh, really you need what I would call like a shaman to, to see your way through to uh, those retail sales because um, our market here in the U.S. is probably the most highly regulated alcohol market in the world. I mean, we have three-tier systems and we have price posting. We have essentially over 50 individual markets based on the, the states in the United States. Each one has its own set of rules. Um, just to give you a, a factoid, there's over 4,000 individual alcohol laws in the United States uh, and tax rates that uh, you know, uh, vary based on state, local, and even municipal uh, rates. So it's it's a complicated place to operate. But if you can do it, and if you can get here, you can make a lot of money, and it can be a lot of fun. Okay, one, one other question I think that's really important. So we're here at the USA Trade Tasting, and this is a show that, that really never existed before in the U.S., a truly international, independent trade show. Can you talk to the significance of that and, and the education day that we're having tomorrow? Yeah, it, it kind of gets back to, um, you, you know, don't jump into the water that's over your head before you kind of uh, know you can swim. So uh, a show like this is an opportunity for a supplier to come, bring their actual products, and meet face-to-face -face with a potential partner here in the United States. Um, and it's actually a, a very efficient way to uh, judge whether you want to make that bigger entry into the market. Uh, uh, rather than hypothetically meet with somebody who visits you at your establishment and wants you to sign a contract right away, uh, something like this lets you speak, speak to a lot of people. Uh, you, can, you can get big, small, medium, and large importers, suppliers, uh, uh, freight forwarders, insurers. Everything you need to talk to uh, will be people who will be wandering around and stopping at a show like this. And then the, the great benefit is you take away that back and do your due diligence and your own calculus and decide, you know, after I spent three days in New York, uh, I want to go full steam ahead or not, you know. So it, it's, it's, it's actually using your dollars and your, your money to the best advantage, I think. Great. This is Steve Ray reporting from the USA Trade Tasting in the Metropolitan Pavilion in New York City.